started from one who wanted to get married, one who was sick, and one who was achieving in life. You can find yourself in any of those. Any of those. And you can see, everyone was putting their trust in the Lord. Though you don't know how it will be, but we are just saying, I'm worshiping God. So, because of that, let us look at one subject that we all run away from, but it's always with us. The title of the message today is directly to you. Laziness will embarrass you. All those people who want shortcut in life, it's laziness. All of them. All those who want easy life, but full of pleasure. Lazy. Our daughters, our ladies here, they want to marry a rich man. Why? Answer. Laziness. Have you made enough preparation for your life here and after? When you are gone, those who will be living, are they going to live on what you have prepared now? Those who don't know God, those who have not prepared, they hurry God. Oh God, hurry, hurry. Where are you God? Can you see now? I'm getting out. I want to finish this house. I want to put, oh Lord, oh Lord, where are you, oh Lord? I'm fasting and praying. You are going to die empty. There's no need of fasting and praying. You did not prepare. The aunt, though it knows its last span is only six months, it energetically stores enough food for millions of generations of ants. Energetically so. Even those born, they got enough to live on and all, they still work energetically. The ant, it is sure of itself and it is determined. How about you? When you know yourself and you are determined, you are going to display extraordinary vigor, extraordinary strength and spirit towards your destiny. While people are giving up, while people are saying I should do that, while others are saying whatever they are saying, you are certain. You are certain. You are not lazy. You are not lazy. You have to be productive. You have, you can't just say I'm a housewife. You have produced enough children now become productive in other areas. No, I'm telling you the truth. Because these children are growing up, your husband is growing up, you also got to do something, be productive. You have done a wonderful work by producing these children. But what are you doing thereafter? The ant stores food away for itself in the summer. Summertime, it stores away food so that it does not suffer from shortage of food. Look at your own personal life. There are many shortages right now. And you are complaining and you are the one who said the government did do the government. It's not the government fault. The government only gives us an enablement atmosphere for you as a citizen to do something in that atmosphere. Not sitting down, but being productive. And that's a mind we've got to have. Otherwise, alas, that's the end.